what's good YouTube? So, I'll be reacting to a video called Pain. <laughs> Let's get to the video, baby. Hopefully, it's a good one. You know? And today I'm gonna talk about the times I got hurt and then my entire nervous system went Hold up, bro. This sounds like a little kid So is this a little kid doing these animations as well? Because I know how long it takes to make animations, my guy. This is very impressive. This is all you and oh, oh Luckily, I've never broken a bone though. Wow, Bryson, you've never broken a bone? Your pain is irrelevant, you stupid idiot <laughs> Bro, how old is this kid doing this animation? He sounds very young, but then I'm like, no way he drew all this, because if you know animation, it takes a long time to do it. Although I've never broken a bone, I've still experienced a wide range of physical pain. For example, one time I was holding a big PVC pipe and I threw it on the ground and it ricocheted back and hit my funny bone at Mach 10. It felt like an electrical fire on my arm. I hereby vote for the removal of funny bones from the human body because all it causes is pain. On second thought, why not remove all bones? Can't break what isn't there. Another time I fell down face first while snowboarding and I scorpioned so hard that the bottom of my snowboard hit the back of my head. See that? Your back isn't supposed to do that. That causes a lot of ouchy feelings. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my back! Now let's move on to the big ones. The ones that reminded me of my mortality. The ones where life went, this kid has had it too good for too long. Time to remind him who's in charge. Okay, number one. I was sitting on top of my bunk bed zoning out when my mom called me. I decided that to save time, I would forego using the ladder and just jump off the top bunk. Little did I know the fan was going at top speed. Oh. It was so- Bro, this same thing happened to me. Like, my cousin was jumping, hit the fan, and then the light broke and hit my nose. Bro, I'm so unlucky. ...fast that I didn't even see it. So I jumped and... Yep. It happened so fast that I didn't even feel it at first. Like, but I, I reached off to check... I have a scar right here from that too, man. ...the damage, yeah, and then I saw the blood. Mom? What's up, honey? I'm losing blood at an alarming rate and would be most grateful if you, my caregiver and guardian, would transport me to the hospital to help heal the wound so that I can continue this mortal journey rather than ending it prematurely due to loss of blood. Nah, I'm kidding. What I actually said was... Yeah! This other time, me and my brothers were bonding with Dad. How? Dad would pull down the basketball hoop, let one of us grab on, and then he'd let go and it would slingshot us into the air. Obviously. Anyway, I could see my brothers doing it and I wanted to turn. Okay, three, two, one. Oh! My head slammed into the basketball rim and that's naturally where my memory stops. My parents say that it scalped me a little bit and that I have a little bald spot. However, I have so much hair that neither I nor my parents have ever been able to find this so-called bald spot. I guess it's not there after all. This other time I was really young and my older brother was in an argument with mom. Now, being in my family, you learn to tune things out because yelling and screaming and fighting is all commonplace. Don't worry, we make up afterwards. But anyways, as mom and Brody were arguing, I was all like, Wow, this door hinge looks pretty cool. I should put my fingers in there. What? Just then, the argument came to a climax and Brody oh. slammed the door shut as hard as he could. Uh, this also happened to me. My hand was in the middle of two doors. My cousin closed. Damn, dude, I've hurt myself a lot in life. It's it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. I can relate to almost everything this guy's saying. <laughs> On to my fingers. My fingers bent every which way. They looked like rubber. We went to the doctor and surprisingly nothing was broken. When you're really young, your bones are still soft and springy and that's yeah. why they didn't break. Also, that's why some babies need to wear helmets because otherwise you might accidentally sculpt their soft head into a cone like this. Okay, last story. One time, I was just chilling in my room with my brothers. We had a punching bag hanging under one of the loft beds, and we would take- First of all, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> ...turns tackling it. It was my turn, and the punching bag was swinging, but I was too young to understand how momentum worked. 
So I dove for it, it swung out of the way, and my face slammed into the wall. I was taken to the hospital, and as my mom tells me, the doctors had to clean the wound, but I wouldn't let them for some reason. So they put me in a straitjacket, and I screamed, Stop touching me! Stop touching me! Do you speak English? Stop touching me! And then they hit me with that good sleep juice. I'm a tired. Anyway, I got stitches, and now I have a cool scar across my eyebrow. Thank you for taking a trip down memory lane with me. Down memory pain with me. It all hurt a lot. But Bryson, I've never been injured before. Well, we can fix that. Ow! <laughs> Wow, getting hurt really sucks. But you know what doesn't suck? Insert a really out of place sponsorship segue. Skillshare! I knew it was gonna be that. You know what, we don't have time. Uh, <laughs> hey, we pre I appreciate y'all for watching this video with me. I love y'all. It's been your humble and gracious host, Eze, and don't forget the NWA. Peace out.